Good morning. So Elaine and I are out in the world. So we've come to Dundrum Town Centre, which is one of the biggest shopping centres in Dublin, because there's a couple of shops that we need to go to because we bought some stuff online and some of the stuff we bought just doesn't fit or whatever. So we need to just return them here. So that's what we're doing this morning. Uh, so Elaine is here beside me. Hello. And yeah, we're actually here. It's five to nine at the moment and the shopping centre doesn't open until nine. So we just have to wait and sit in the car until it opens. Just as I stopped filming that last clip, all the lights came on. So yeah, I guess that means that everything is about to open. really early and stuff but I've never seen Dundrum this quiet before in my life. This is crazy. I was expecting that Dundrum would be quiet when we were out there but I didn't really expect how quiet it would be it was just like it was like a ghost town out there there was really very few people out there when we were there granted we were there really really early in the morning but like i've been in shopping centers and i used to work in shopping centers and like 9 a.m on a saturday morning like it wouldn't normally be as quiet as that so definitely i noticed that like things are really quiet at the moment and even like at one stage when we went into hollister there was no one else in the shop. We had the entire shop to ourselves, which was nice because it meant that I could actually kind of browse around and I did buy a pair of jeans. So I'm gonna go try those on and I will show you guys what they look like now. So these are the jeans that I got and I think they fit perfectly. I really like the color of the denim in these. I think it's really nice blue and I like the kind of faded wash on them. So I think I'll be keeping these anyway. Also, I got these black joggers as well and these are really nice. They're really comfortable. These were like really cheap. I got these in pennies, which is Primark in the UK. And then I don't know if they're in the US, but yeah, these cost me five euro. So they were listed as 9.99. And when I got them to the till, they were 4.95. So that was awesome. Everything that I managed to pick up today in Dundrum for me was a success and I'm really happy with it. But I'm going to put these joggers and my new jeans here into quarantine for a few days. I'm sure they'd be fine, but like better safe than sorry. For dinner tonight, we're having one of my favorite things to eat. We're having tofu katsu curry. So I have this tofu here that I'm gonna cut up into either strips or triangles. I'm not really sure yet. And I've got this uh, katsu curry pack that I'm going to put together. So, in here we have the curry sauce, we have the batter, and the breadcrumbs for the tofu. This katsu curry pack is actually designed to be used with like chicken and stuff, but because we don't eat chicken anymore, we're using the tofu. Put the tofu into triangles because that's the way they are when we order them from the takeaway. And now I just need to cover them in the breadcrumbs. So what that actually involves is organizing the batter first because we use the batter so that the breadcrumbs stick to the tofu. So this will be interesting. Never done this with tofu before, so I've had hassle in the past trying to get the breadcrumbs to stick to halloumi. I'm hoping that they bond better to tofu than they do to halloumi. We're gonna find out though. still just preparing the batter. It says to use like 70 ml of water in the batter and stir it until you get the consistency of a single cream, but it's never enough. So I've put like about 120 ml in and that seems to have got a nice consistency now. So now I'm just going to start prepping the tofu. Just 
just done a quick tidy up of the area where I was prepping the tofu here because that stuff gets really, really messy. But this is how my tofu is looking so far. As you can see, it's all breaded. Um, it's kind of patchier than I'd like, but I don't know how to get it more consistent than it is. I think I kind of struggled with that about as much as I struggled with the halloumi. I do think maybe the tofu takes the breadcrumbs a little bit better than halloumi does. We have these like um, pea and lemon bite things that are in the oven as well. So you guys will see those when they come out. They're just like a frozen thing that goes into the oven. And yeah, they're really nice. So you'll see those on the plate when they're done. So my tofu is on the pan. My rice is actually done. I'm just letting it sit in the water, um, but it's finished cooking. And the only other thing left to do now is to organize the sauce. Sauce is really easy, I have a choice. I can either do it in a saucepan or I can do it in a bowl in the microwave. And I think I'm gonna do it in a bowl in the microwave just because it's faster and it's like less to worry about and manage because I'm, I am I wanna pay attention to the tofu and make sure I get that right because let's be honest with it, that's kind of the key to this whole dinner tonight. time see if this is as good as it is from the takeaway it's very similar and um, Elaine was just saying before I recorded that clip that I probably could have done with a zap and I agree it could do it being just a smidge hotter and that's just because there was a good delay between me taking everything off the heat and serving it out but otherwise I'm really happy with this dinner here i hope you like it if you do please give it a big thumbs up please subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video